guys, how's it going? Michael from Layer here. I wanted to go over a start to finish project of how to like quickly create a superhero in a background and kind of walk you guys through my step-by-step -step approach of how I would do that. So let's go ahead and start a forge session. For this style, we have multiple options here. We have this game character style, but for this one, I wanted to choose a specific character that we have. So we have this style here for Luna. Let me go ahead and show you guys this Luna style. Cool, so we have this demo style of this character that we have called Luna. We trained this style with this character with a, a bunch of different poses, but in general, she has the same look. She has this blue eyes, blue hair, uh, lighter skin, and she has a bunch of different outfits on. She's posed in different ways. So I wanted to show how dynamic it is when you have a character style trained with assets like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and forge with this style. So for this, I'm going to type in Luna. And since this is a single character style and we named this character Luna, we don't have to say anything other than her name. And it knows that this is what the character looks like, Luna. Uh, all right, so Luna wearing a superhero outfit. Let's do something that would contrast with the blue. So let's do like a green cape. And let's do gold details on outfit. All right, so I'm going to forge this a couple times, see what we can come up with. Something that I like to encourage everyone to do is when you have a pretty simple prompt like this, uh, I like to enhance the prompt with AI. It just adds in a lot more information that guides the AI to generate something that could be a little bit better. So I'm going to remove this set against the dynamic city skyline backdrop at sunset. I don't think for this right now, I don't want to talk about what the background is. I want to add in my own background. So uh, I'm going to forge this a couple times uh, and show you guys the difference in when you just enter in a prompt that is pretty basic like this versus when you have a little bit more detailed of a prompt. So this uh, generations are, are okay, but like AI isn't perfect. It still does weird things. Like this is not something that we're looking for with this generation. We have like this gold here in the background. Uh, but with the uh, prompt enhanced with AI, we got a little bit more of a different uh, look. We got some variety still. AI is doing some weird things here, but overall, I think that we have some assets here that we can use for this type of project that I'm working on. Uh, this one, I think this looks pretty good for what I'm envisioning. I also like this one. I'm actually gonna go with this one. I think this one looks cool. We got the cape here, it's green. We got these gold accents and details on her outfit and the character looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this in Canvas. So now we are here in a Canvas session. The first thing that I'm gonna be doing here is I'm going to be removing the background because I know that I wanna add in my own background. So just went to the layer here. I clicked remove background. I see it got most of everything. I'm gonna go ahead and use this eraser and just remove uh, this last little part here. And uh, that's good for what I'm doing. I'm going to be reforging everything in this Canvas session and kind of making it a lot more cohesive. But for now, now that we have our character ready, I'm just going to go ahead and turn off this layer. And now I want to focus on the background. So on the left side here, we have our prompt box for a forge session. I'm going to go ahead and select this game background style that we have trained. It's one of the default styles. Uh, all the other ones are exploration styles. They're not trained, they're just AI models with a little bit of guidance. But this one is a trained model with some of our assets that we have in-house. So for this, I'm going to type in low angle destroyed cityscape. All right, so here are the different forges that we have. Uh, we have a bunch of different options here, but for this, uh, I find this one to be really visually interesting. I like the car there. I like the cityscape in the background. I'm going to go ahead and accept this and add it to a new layer. So now that we have this figured out, we have our background. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the layers here on the top right. I'm going to bring in our character and I'm going to resize her. Uh, but I don't want her just standing here. I want her to be standing on like a pile of rocks or like a boulder or something. So for this, I'm gonna have her positioned right here and I'm gonna go ahead and go to the brush and I'm going to draw in what would be a rock something. I'm selecting now like a brown color, something that uh, would make sense to 
uh, draw a rock into. Uh, I went ahead and added a new layer because I don't want to draw on the background layer. Uh, I want to be drawing on on different layers so that everything's separated. And if we wanted to bring this into Photoshop and make changes later, we could do that. I don't want to just draw on the, the background layer directly because I want that space to still be there. So for this, I, I don't want her just standing on a rock and looking unnatural. I kind of wanted this to look like it's pretty cohesive. So I'm having her boot kind of be buried a little bit there on this rock. So when we go ahead and reforge, it, it looks like it, like she's standing on it and there's some different textures there. So I'm adding in just these random, like just black highlights here. Hopefully we can get like some shadows or something when we add, when we go ahead and forge. Uh, so now that we have my uh, awesome dirt rock drawing here, we got Luna standing on it. I wanna make it look like an actual rock. So I am gonna go ahead and use the marquee tool and go over the area that we want to forge. So for this, I'm gonna stick with this game background style, but I'm gonna type in here in the prompt box, I'm gonna type in superhero boots standing on big boulder. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and forge this a few times. For this, I would probably adjust the similarity a bit. And like, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys, for example, like if the similarity is set to 75, it's gonna look extremely similar to my not well-drawn rock, right? So uh, I wanted to do some tests here. We did just now forge at 75%. I want us also forge at 25%. Uh, the default is 50%. So we can see here, uh, we got a couple example, like this one, AI just completely covered her, her boots there. Uh, this is at 75% similarity, so definitely not working for what I'm looking for. So let's see if the similarity set to 25% can get us some better results. Uh, this one from our first one uh, is not totally awful, but not really what I'm looking for. This one, I think the similarity is just totally not getting it right. Those are definitely not the superhero boots that we have on her. So let me go ahead and cancel that. Maybe AI is having some trouble here because I buried her boots a, a little bit too much. So I'm going to bring a little bit of her boots back just so that it can really stick to uh, the general uh, color of her boots and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully draw back this rock area, but not covering up her boots as much. I think that might work. So same thing here, I'm gonna use the R key tool, go ahead and highlight here. I'm gonna forge in the selected area. There's a, a bug going on here with the canvas uh, selection, but let's see what these forges. I was able to get a couple results that I think are pretty good compared to what I had with my previous drawing. This one I think looks pretty good. You can like, pretty clearly see that her boots are standing on the, the boulder in a way that makes sense. Uh, I want to let these forges here finish up and then go ahead and look at what all the results are from our forging. And then we'll move on to this next. These forges, they are not too great uh, with these results, but I did get a result here that I liked. Uh, I think this one, it works pretty well. We got her boots standing here on a dirt mound. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and accept, accept this to a new layer. And when we toggle in between these, like compared to what we had with the drawing in her boots, like we see her boots now standing on what looks like a boulder. Uh, so we were able to successfully add in this character, making her look like she's part of this background compared to uh, if we just have her just placed there. Uh, so I think we got the results we were looking for. Uh, and the idea here is like AI isn't perfect, but when you go ahead and uh, iterate and try different th settings and try and perfect the prompt a little bit, you're able to get some really good results uh, if, you, if you follow the, the process. Um, so now that we have this, uh, I kind of wanted to add in a little bit more details because overall this one, to, uh, one by one square uh, image isn't really something that I want. I want to make it a little bit more of a landscape image. Uh, so I'm going to go here to our crop tool and I'm going to go ahead and adjust the overall size of the canvas. I'm going to go ahead and confirm 
Uh, and then I'm going to use this mar our, uh, the marquee tool here, and I'm going to go ahead and add in, uh, refill uh, the transparent pixels, uh, and just fill in the background and make sure everything looks cohesive. So I want to make sure that I uh, remove what's in the prompt here and go ahead and click refill. So now with the marquee tool, we're refilling that those transparent pixels uh, and kind of expanding the landscape uh, of this destroyed city. Set of uh, foraged uh, assets here that expand the background and really give it a really good, unique perspective. Uh, it did a good job like adding in what would be a car there. Uh, but I like this one a lot. I feel like it ties in the rock color with the, the boulder that uh, we have the Luna character standing on, so I'm going to go ahead and select this one. Uh, and we might get a pop-up of the uh, foragers that are still going here, but I already know this is the the option that I want to go with. So uh, I'm going to do the same approach here uh, to the other side and see what we can come up with there. Alrighty, so I'm going to confirm that. I'm going to go ahead and use the marquee tool and it's going to fill in the rest uh, oh, there and I'm going to go ahead and click refill and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that a couple times so we can have uh, some options to choose from there. Alrighty, so now that our forages are done, we can see we got a few different results here uh, and they all kind of align with this perspective that I'm trying to follow. Uh, this one is pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of this stuff going on up here on, on the top right. Uh, this one is pretty cool. I like these like laser beam things. They, they look interesting, but not really what I'm looking for. And also one of these, uh, this is totally AI doing some weird stuff. So AI is not perfect, like I mentioned before. But this one, it, it does work for what I'm looking for. It like gives that perspective. It ties in these rocks that I have here. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that and add it to a new layer. Uh, and that kind of shows uh, the process of start to finish, adding in your character into an interesting background. And uh, we can further add uh, and refill this, uh, this canvas uh, and make it even bigger. But uh, for this purpose, I think I, uh, I got what I was looking for. Uh, and now I can go ahead and export it uh, as a Photoshop document with all these layers and go ahead and add final touches there, maybe drop drop in the game logo uh, and make it look like a, a completed piece. Thank you guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video.